Hey guys, so I just updated my iPhone SE to iOS 10, so I figured I'd do a speed test. Now I wanted to do it versus the Xperia X Compact, but that's not out yet, so I'm going to wait a couple weeks for that. But for now, I'll do it versus the Galaxy Note 7. So I'm going to start off by powering both these on at the same time. And as I just mentioned, the iPhone SE is on iOS 10, the official final version. And the Galaxy Note 7 is on Android Marshmallow. Probably not going to be getting Android N on here for probably five or six months, knowing how slow uh, Samsung is of updating this stuff. Alright, so iPhone SE really quick loading up. And I do expect the iPhone SE to win most of this just because apps are generally better optimized on iOS. Obviously, you have a lot less devices to take into account for developers. All right, so let's start with Temple Run 2. And just to show you, so everything's closed out. Everything's closed out. So it should be even here. We're gonna start with Temple Run. Wow, yeah, so really fast loading up on the iPhone SE. Winning this really handily. Of course, it is worth noting that they have a pretty big difference in screen size. Uh, so the iPhone SE obviously pushing a lot less pixels, only 326 pixels per inch at 4 inches. Uh, the Galaxy Note 7 is 5.7 inches, uh, quad HD screen 518 pixels per inch. And we'll check out Chrome in a minute. Let's go to CNN next. Okay, so the Galaxy won that round. Go into settings. I think that was the iPhone. Let's look at iFunny. All right, it's not that big difference, but I think the iPhone loaded up first. Um, so I did run an Intuitive benchmark earlier. This is the result. So a score of 124,000 for the iPhone SE. Now this is a tad bit higher than I was getting on previous versions, 9.3. I think I was getting around 122,000. Uh, and then 144,000 on the Galaxy Note. And just look at the ranking. So you see highest out of any Android phone, 144,000. And for the iPhone SE, the ranking list. Wow, yeah, the, iP wow, the iPad Pro, really high score there. Um, but here it is in relation. So I guess they include some Android devices. Looks like you have the S7, but I guess they didn't include the Note 7, some of the more recent ones. Uh, okay, let's look at YouTube next. Okay, so that goes to the iPhone. Calculator. Uh, clock. See why these are simple apps. Uh, so Asphalt 8 next. And just some of the other specs. So both have rear uh, 12 megapixel cameras. Actually both are made by Sony. See they're really quickly loading up on the iPhone. They're different camera lenses, but again, both are 12 megapixels made by Sony. Uh, 1.2 megapixel front facing versus 5 on the Note 7. ESPN. So faster there on the iPhone. Uh, let's look at photos. Again, faster on the iPhone. 
Uh, we'll look at camera, or actually we'll do that in a minute. Let's do eBay. Again, faster on the iPhone. All right, sorry about that. I said to switch phones because I ran out of storage. Um, so next we'll look at calendar. So pretty close there. Uh, so I like expected overall the iPhone faster. Uh, let's look at some web browsing. Good new Chrome on both. And first I'll go to IGN. All right, so faster there on the iPhone. Let's go to Yahoo next. Faster on the iPhone. Uh, let's look at Nintendo. Actually, don't think I clicked it yet. Well, regardless, faster on the iPhone. Um, and let's do CNN last. All right, well, that was pretty close, but regardless, I think that the iPhone won the test pretty easily. Um, now it is worth noting that the Note, definitely not the fastest Android phone I've used, despite what you may think. Um, so at least in terms of opening up the apps, obviously there's a lot more to the phone than just that. When you're actually playing the games more in depth, things that require more of the processor, uh, you know, this phone is going to be better than a lot of the other Androids, even those that outperform it. Uh, such as I have another video versus the Xperia XA Ultra. And the XA Ultra actually beat it in a lot of these tests, but of course when you're playing um, games, you're going to have better experience on the Note 7. So in terms of more of these specs, I already mentioned both have 12 megapixel rear facing cameras, 1.2 megapixel front facing versus 5 on Note 7. Uh, the SE has an A9 chipset with 2 gigabytes of RAM, and the Galaxy Note 7 has a Snapdragon 820 with 4 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, so the iPhone SE comes in either 16 or 64 gigabytes of storage. I would definitely, definitely suggest the 64. Um, I have the 16 for this update. It was real pain. I mean, I had to delete like half of my apps just to install it. Um, so yeah, I would definitely suggest getting the 64 version, even though it's a little bit more. Um, on the Galaxy Note 7, you do have micro SD card support, which you do not have on the iPhone SE. 1624 battery on the iPhone SE versus 3500 on Note 7. Uh, also, the battery life test between the two, Note 7 easily winning that. Uh, so, both these do have fingerprint scanners. I'll do a test on that in a minute. Note 7 also has an iris scanner for added security. Um, in terms of the ports, so you see USB Type C on the, Gal yeah, on the Galaxy versus Lightning on the iPhone SE. Build quality, iPhone SE is mostly metal. And really similar design to the iPhone 5S. Whereas the Galaxy is a lot of uh, glass, some metal on the side. Also has a little bit curved to the screen and nearly edge to edge as well. And let's see, so a few other advantages that the Galaxy has. Uh, it is waterproof, the iPhone SE is not. Also has a pen like this at the bottom. So you can write on the screen, take notes. Also has this always on display, which I really like. A uh, very underrated feature in my opinion. So if it's sitting on your desk like this, you can always see the time. Some other things, you can double tap notifications, open them. So the screen's always gonna look like this, doesn't take up that much battery. Again, you can also take out your pen, write a note, have it pinned to the screen later, whatever you want. Um, oh, but of course, definitely worth noting, uh, the Galaxy Note costs around twice as much. 
So this is going to run you around $900. Uh, and the iPhone SE. Now, if you can find it in stock, I know it's really hard to find it. This is around 400, 450 if you get the 64 gb version. So I'll say 450. Um, yeah, let me do a fingerprint scanner test. So I think both these have pretty, uh, pretty good fingerprint scanner. See, pretty much instant. Well, as soon as the screen wakes up anyways, it's instant. And versus the iPhone SE. I, mean, I think both are pretty similar. It's just the iPhone SE voting animation is at the end there rather than more at the beginning with the Galaxy. But both these fingerprint scanners are excellent. Now, not the best, but in terms of uh, speed anyways, they're not the best. But in terms of accuracy, I think they're very good. Um, let's see. Aside from that, so both these speakers on them, not great. Galaxy is definitely louder than uh, the iPhone. So the iPhone is pretty silent. So let's do a quick camera test uh, in terms of camera speed. Oh, and just for those iPhone users wondering, I would definitely recommend upgrading to iOS 10. I've had it for the last couple months to beta anyways. Really no issues with it on the SC. Oops. Press a little faster there. Alright, so you can see a little faster on the SC. Well, obviously, there's a lot more to the camera than that. Up or yeah. So personally, I do prefer the Galaxy Note camera, but in terms of speed, it looks like the SE is a little bit faster. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. Uh, also, the SE just wanted to say that it's a lot similar to the um, iPhone 6s. Really, just a smaller version. Now there are something that's missing, like Force Touch, but aside from that, it's pretty similar to it. Um, so yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Now, I will have the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus coming here shortly. Also going to have the Xperia X, the Xperia uh, XZ, rather, the Xperia X Compact and the Xperia XZ coming here shortly. Uh, please subscribe if you're already for more videos like this. And thanks again for watching.